So while the Newton-Rapson method is good, it isn't perfect. And one thing that can be pointed out directly from the iterative formula itself is that if the xn is ever substituted into f prime and you get 0, then you're dividing by 0 in this fraction, okay? which obviously causes a problem. And what does that then identify? Well, that is identifying the fact that for your curve, um, say something like this, then what's happened is that you've substituted in a starting value where you've actually got a stationary point. And so what you would have is a line that is horizontal that will not cross the x-axis again. So you won't be homing in on the required route that I'm looking for. OK? So that's one biggie. That's one problem. Now, what else? Well, there is another problem with uh, the newton rapson as well that can cause issue. So let's say um, what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to get this root here, say, okay? And I have got these two values uh, that say, let's say I'm between minus 4 and minus 3, say, okay? And it continues on, here's minus 2, and uh, let's say here's minus 1. So let's say I want to home in on this root here, between minus 4 and 3. And I think to myself, right, okay, well, um, I should be able to start at either minus 4 or minus 3 in order to home in on that root. Okay? Now, minus 4, it looks like, that, well, that's going to be all right, because I'm going to go down to the curve, I'm going to draw a tangent line, and then I'm going to be pretty close almost immediately. However, if I start at minus 3, okay, I'm going to go up to the curve, and because my starting value is close to the stationary point. That means that the tangent line that I get will be quite shallow. And what can then happen is I actually start homing in on the wrong route. Okay? And so that is a particular fail case for the newton rapson method. I mean, this one is a trivial case of failure. This one is a little bit more interesting, OK? So could it be that you have um, uh, a situation where neither, so neither of your starting values at minus 4 and minus 3 uh, you know the roots between those two, neither of them actually work. Well, that might be a little bit challenging to draw, but I will give it a go. So let's say I know that there is a root between 0 and 1 using the change of sign method. Okay. If the curve, so let's say um, the curve looks something like this. So it has a very tight turn uh, between 0 and 1. That's not particularly good. Let me try that again. So I want to turn just there. Something like that. That's a bit smoother. Okay. So I know that there's a root between 0 and 1. The change of sign method tells me that there is. However, starting at 1 actually gets me to home in on this root here, okay? And starting at zero actually gets me starting, so let's say 
That's not a very good tangent line at all. That's really terrible. It's really because of the shape of the curve that I drew. So that would shoot off that way. Okay, cross through the x-axis and then I'd be going up to the curve again and I'm going to shoot down and I'm going to home in on that route instead. So in actual fact, even though that I know that there is a route between 0 and 1, I won't be homing in on it. Okay, So there are particular starting values that will cause problems. And obviously, you know, if I knew what the curve looked like in general, I could pick a point that's close to it. So I can avoid this problem and just aim it by sight. And you might be thinking, well, why wouldn't you just do that in the first place? The thing is, is if you were programming uh, a computer to solve and find these routes, then you would need to think about, well, would you start off with a change of sign method um, between uh, that just looks at integer values, okay? So similar to this, just looks at integer values. You find, oh, there is a route between minus 4 and minus 3. And then you program it to say that um, always pick the largest value or it can make its own choice. Well, if it chooses minus 3, it won't home in on the route that you want to find. So you'd have to carefully program the computer to make sure that it's not just doing integer values, it's not just doing half values either, because you could still have all this same problem if this was minus 4.5 and minus 3, okay? You're still going to have the same problem. So it would take a little bit more thought to think about how you could program this perfectly in order to find the roots of a curve.